Hi guys, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. I've got a, uh, a lot of emails on this snapper on adjusting the clutch disc and the drive disc on the bottom of the engine. Now if you replace an engine on your snapper, like I put on my, I've got a video that shows how to put a new engine on your snapper. Uh, eight out of ten times when you buy another engine the bolt pattern will line up on your tractor but maybe 50 50 the crank is going to line up the same most of the time the bolt patterns are the same but as far as where the crank comes out of the bottom of the engine in relationship to the bolt pattern is not always the same so check out that video that shows you how to make a, uh, a pattern for drilling your tractor to get the crank in the proper place. I had a guy get a hold of me and say, hey, I rebuilt my snapper like you did. I put a new engine on it. I don't have neutral or reverse anymore. What's wrong? I had him send me some pictures. And what had happened is he bought a new engine and the crank was in a different location than the bolt pattern. So when he dropped the engine on, bolted everything down, got it hooked up, when the clutch disc came over to neutral and reverse, it wasn't hitting the drive disc where it was supposed to and it wasn't working right. So you have to have the... the crank in the right position not the bolt pattern so check out that other video today i'm going to show you how to adjust your drive disc and your clutch disc i made a steel tool for adjusting the drive disc because i use it a lot you can make one out of an ordinary paint stick and I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing you want to do, if I can get this up here without a bunch of glare, is you want to cut a quarter inch by quarter inch hole in the end of the paint stick in the center. It don't have to be perfect. Make sure the end of your paint stick is square. <laughs> when I first did this one, it wasn't. It threw my measurements off. Now, you want to write minimum and max on the stick. On the minimum side, you want to measure down from the end down here three and three quarter inches and draw a line. On the maximum side, you want to go three and thirteen sixteenths and draw a line. That's only a sixteenth of an inch variation. Now, most of the drive discs are about the same thickness. Some are thicker than others. So you want to go from this line forward about three-eighths of an inch and draw another line. You want to go from this line towards the end with a notch in it. And the same here, about three-eighths of an inch. And you can take, uh, you can cut it with anything. Your bandsaw, a coping saw, a hacksaw would work good. Then take a chisel and just chisel this out. It'll pop right out of there. And the same with these two notches. Now we'll go over to my model and we'll show you how to use this. Now I'm trying to hold this by hand so it might get a little bumpy. Now you're going to see two set screws. And that's these large ones. That's the ones you want to loosen. These two here, you are not going to have. You are not going to have this adapter. This is in here. I made it so I could mount this one inch drive disc. That's the size of the crank to a half inch shaft on my electric motor. That's all this is, is an adapter. You are not going to have this part on your tractor. Your crank is going to come down here, and these two set screws hold this onto your crank. Now, to use this tool you just made, 
we're going to use the maximum length. You slide it up in here. Now that notch goes over top, if I can get it in here, of that lip on the bottom of your tractor. It's a little hard to get it in there. Here we go. That goes over the lip. This fits over top right down here on your drive disc. And you adjust it so the drive disc is touching the bottom of this notch. That's your distance. That's the maximum. If you flip it over, that's the minimum distance. Right now mine's pretty close to the minimum. But on this one, I don't need a lot of torque because I'm not driving it anywhere. Now let's look at the clutch. Okay, here's your clutch disc. Now I've had some uh, people, a couple of guys called and said they're not really comfortable with bolting their clutch disc solid to their clutch assembly. Um, I will say when you let that clutch out, you better let it out slow just like a car or it's going to take off and it'll jerk your head back. And they're not comfortable with having their kids mow in the yard with that bolted solid. Now there is some things you can do to tighten that clutch up so it doesn't slip when you're when you're trying to go up and down a hill you can move this disc out a little bit more because your your uh, clutch disc let me push the clutch in a little bit so I can turn this your clutch disc is going to hit in neutral in this hole so that'll give you a little bit more where you can pull this out you just don't want to pull it out so far that your chain case right here starts rubbing on your drive disc. That's not, it'll tear up your disc. That's not a good idea. So you can move this out a little bit farther. Just make sure you don't hit here. Another thing you can do to make your clutch work a little better is this spring is what pulls your clutch in and out when you let your clutch out. You can see this spring is in the first hole. Some machines only have two, some have three. Well, you can take this bar out and you can drill that third hole if you don't have one. Moving that spring up to there is going to give you more power pushing against the clutch against the drive disc. That's going to help you. Now on this model, if we can turn it and tip this down a little, On this model, I also have two holes on the bottom of the spring. It's in the first hole. That's the lightest pressure against the disc. If you put this down to the bottom hole on the bottom, the top hole up here on the top, that is going to pull that clutch in a lot harder into that drive wheel, and you shouldn't have any problem with it slipping. If it does still slip, take a look at your, at your uh, clutch disc and see what it looks like. This one's not really in very good shape. It's got some gouges in it. I don't know what all these gouges are from. But, and, well, there's some bad ones there. I suppose if I was going to run this machine, I would change that. Just so I have maximum contact between them two discs and that's about it now if you have any more questions on how to make one of these if you miss something send me an email i can even draw this up i can take a good picture of it and i can email it to you now the the adjustments on here i've had Oh golly, I'd say 20 people in the last week and a half asked me how, how can I adjust my clutch and drive disc. I've sent them emails. 
I even called a couple guys. It's just too hard to try to explain something to somebody when they can't actually see what you're talking about. That's why I like this model. It really helps. So if you have any more questions, send me an email. It's at jimsfixitshop at gmail.com. Subscribe and go back and look at all these other videos on the build, how to mount an engine. Uh, I don't know. Don't know what this else to say. Just uh, if you need any more help, please feel free to email me. Or put a note down at the bottom of this uh, video and I'll get notified, hopefully. And I'll know that you sent something. Emails work the best. I wish I had all these emails on the bottom of these videos so everybody could read them because I've had a bunch of them. <laughs> Since I've started this, I bet I've had 300 emails. And I'll tell you, I try to answer every one of them. If you send me an email and I don't answer you, I might not have got it. So send it again. That's jimsfixitshop at gmail.com. Do not use a comma on Jim's. That tends to screw up computers. So let me know what you think. Like I said, if you need any help, send me an email. If you need help fixing anything, take some pictures of it, send them to me, and I'll get back with you. I'll guarantee it. And hopefully I can help you out of your jail. So until next time, work safe, have fun, and we'll talk to you soon.